Signal x t is equal to sampling t and we are required to calculate the total area and total energy of signal x t and we know the Fourier transform of the generalized sampling function the generalized sampling function a naught sampling k t and we know its Fourier transform is a rectangular function and the amplitude of the rectangular function is equal to a naught pi divided by k and the range of omega for which the Fourier transform is equal to a naught pi by k is equal to 2 times k. This particular frequency is equal to minus k and this particular frequency is equal to k. So this is what we have for the generalized sampling function but in our case signal xt is equal to sampling t xt is equal to sampling t and when you compare this sampling function with the generalized sampling function you will find a naught is equal to 1 and k is also equal to 1 and this implies a naught pi divided by k will be equal to pi so this time domain signal will have the Fourier transform as rectangular function and the amplitude of the Fourier transform will be equal to pi because a naught pi by k is equal to pi and a naught pi by k is the amplitude of the Fourier transform and k is equal to 1 so this frequency is equal to minus 1 and this frequency is equal to 1 so we have the Fourier transform of our time domain signal xt and now we will use the property of Fourier transform to calculate the total area. We know the area of time domain signal xt is equal to its Fourier transform when omega is equal to 0. And in this waveform when omega is equal to 0, x omega is equal to pi. So the total area is equal to pi and this is our answer. Now we will calculate the total energy of xt and for this we will use the Parseval's energy theorem. Let's say the total energy is represented by E subscript xt and from Parseval's energy theorem we know total energy is equal to 1 over 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity mod x omega square d omega x omega is equal to 0 from minus infinity to minus 1 and it is again equal to 0 from 1 to infinity. It is non-zero between minus 1 and 1. So the result of integration from minus infinity to minus 1 is equal to 0 and the result of integration from 1 to infinity is also equal to 0. So we are left with 1 over 2 pi integration minus 1 to 1 x omega is equal to pi from minus 1 to 1 so we have pi square d omega pi square is a constant with respect to omega so we will take it out so the total energy is equal to pi square divided by 2 pi integration minus 1 to 1 d omega the result of integration is equal to omega and after putting the upper and lower limits we will have 2 so we are having 2 here this 2 and 2 will cancel out pi and pi will cancel out so you can see the total energy is equal to pi this is the answer so total area of sampling t is equal to pi and total energy of sampling t is also equal to pi so remember the two results they are important and if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section and there is no homework problem in this lecture so this is all see you in the next one.